Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here, yeah? we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to get responses to your Google form in Excel in real time. So this is a trick I learned from my good friend and fellow MVP, Michael Olafusi. And I want to share this with you in five minutes. So as you always do, join me in Excel and let's go through this. So here I am and I'm about to create a new Google form. I'm going to use one of these existing templates for event registration. So if you are conversant with how to create Google Forms, it comes with your questions on one side, your responses on the other, and then you have your settings as well. Now, when people respond to your form, the responses are collected by default in Google Spreadsheet. So when you create and link that Google Spreadsheet, it sits at the back of your form collecting your responses. So here is the Google Spreadsheet that is going to receive responses. Now I want to have these responses in Excel. Maybe you want to use it for analysis in Excel straight away instead of coming to fetch it from Google Forms every time. So when this opens, the first thing you need to do is to copy the link to this Google spreadsheet and it's located in this top right button called share. So I'll click share and this pops up. By default, the link is restricted. So you change it to anyone with a link to make it accessible. So I'll click on this and this is what I'm looking for. So I'll copy this link. Okay, so I'm done. So we'll leave this on standby and then jump to Excel. So here I am in Excel. I have a new workbook and I'm going to paste the link. So this is the link. By default, it ends with sharing. But what we are going to do is we are going to replace this part. There's a part that starts with a forward slash followed by edit and then goes on to sharing. So that part, we are going to replace it with this magic text that will allow us to export it. So I'm going to paste that text here. I'll share this in the YouTube comment section. So I'll copy this and then I prefer doing this in the formula bar to make it easier for me to highlight. So I'll highlight this portion that starts with forward slash edit and then paste the version that I copied and paste the text that I copied. Okay. Now, when you paste, you realize that it ends with an equal sign. So it's basically asking for the ID for that particular Google Sheet. And that ID sits here in the middle. So it's an alphanumeric text. You just select that whole text in the middle, which is a unique ID. So if you want to be sure, it's usually followed by the forward slash after D. Okay. You copy that one and then you come and paste it right after the equal sign. Okay, so this now becomes your full link. So you copy that one and that's what you're going to give to Power Query to connect to this sheet live. So the next thing we are going to do is we go to data and here we find Power Query. So of course, Power Query allows us to connect to many data sources. And for this particular one, we are looking to connect from the web. So from web, it depends on your version of Excel, but from web can be located anywhere around here. So I'll click on from web. So this dialog box pops up and I'm supposed to paste the URL I want to query. So I'll just paste the full link and then I'll click OK. So when Power Query opens up, I get my form responses here. It's currently empty. If you had data, you see the data fill up here. The reason you want to use Power Query is that maybe you want to edit some parts of the responses before you download it in Excel. Power Query allows you to do that. But for this purpose, we'll just load it directly and it comes in by default as a table. So my table response is on standby and let's give it a try. We are going to fill up the first response. So I'll come back to my questions. It's here. I'll just go to preview and then attempt to fill the first response. So name is Bernard. 
email is xyz at finex.com organization is finex skills hub and then i'll attend the first day and dietary restrictions i eat everything so none and i accept that i will pay this on arrival so this is complete i'll hit submit so once i hit submit of course i expect google sheet to record the first one and then let's jump to the excel version so i come here and once i'm here i go to data and i click refresh all and then just like that i have my data here in excel now if you have to make changes you can always call the power query so you realize that it comes in here with a default date format okay so i can go back to power query and edit any portion out and edit any portion so queries and then my form pops up here when i double click so when power query opens i see my first response here so for this i want to change the date format and then make it convert it into a proper date i can make any changes here as well it recalls it and it stays okay so close save and then you realize that upon refresh all changes reflect here so you can use this to collect your data in real time especially when you want to analyze it in excel and make transformations on original data please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can join our WhatsApp broadcast list. We send videos directly to you on your phones. You can send ad to this WhatsApp number or connect with us on our YouTube channel, Finest Girls Up. All our old videos are here. Subscribe for notification of new videos or join us on any of these social media platforms. Thank you very much for watching.